everybody something. Now, I am obsessed. I am a woman woman obsessed. I cannot hold it back any longer. It's me, isn't it? Yeah. No, no, everybody, just listen. Do you remember this? Well, well, set the rocking chair. Okay. Do you remember this? Lydia, Lydia. And we're going to cry. Do you remember this? You can thank your lucky stars. Oh, how fantastic is that? Oh, we're too short. Oh, how fantastic. Now, where? Please, Emma, bring them in. Bring them in. Thank you very much. Look, Paul, I've just, just be a just bit of a... Just for me, Dean Friedman. Now, look, this is Dean Friedman. Well, well said the rocking chair. Dean Friedman, there we are. We've got your Dean Friedman moustache. <laughs> I, I look more think like Friedrich Nietzsche. that there should be an official Dean Friedman <laughs> build-up all over again. I think Dean Friedman should be there again. He is the hero of our times. We want the Dean Friedman Appreciation Society to begin this morning. And just, if you believe and you're with me, this is just for you. You can thank your lucky oh, stars that we're not as mm -hmm. smart like the we are. Oh, Dean, Dean! Oh, thank you, thank you. Now, listen, this is the most exciting moment because for three weeks I wanted to play those and now we can! Listen, listen what is so sweet is Paula loves Jamiroquai and Take That and Shed Seven <laughs> and Gabby goes for mustachioed buffoon from the 70s. Oh, no. It's so sweet! Please, if there was anybody out there that agrees with me that Dean Friedman should have a revival and that there's a Dean Friedman Appreciation Society out there. Can don't you please? Don't write to us, we don't. No. <laughs> yes, we do. The Big oh, Breakfast, two lock keepers cottages, <laughs> all board, London E3, 2 a And every Wednesday, I'm just going to say, well, well, said the rocking chair. Oh, dear, but now with a chance at 8.26 and not a moment too soon, in my opinion. Where are you, Keith? You can thank your Last lucky week I was so excited because I relaunched the career, I hope, like of Dean Friedman. And I was so excited because look at all the letters that I've had about Dean Friedman. I have thank to say, you very I laughed, much. I mocked, but you're not allowed. No, I'm not, because listen, Angela Baldwin here says, um, I thought I might you might be being a bit tongue-in-cheek about Dean Friedman. I'm not. Keep the music up, keep the music playing, keep the music playing. It says, Kenny Everett first turned me on to Dean when he played A Woman of Mine on Capital Radio in the 70s. I fell in love with his music then and I still feel the same. Well, you're not the only person. We've had hundreds. We also had hundreds of calls. Please keep them coming in because then we could possibly get a Dean Friedman revival to happen. He could play at the Albert Hall and we could all be there. <laughs> and you there wake up and you'll be back in Kansas oh, look with you. Toto and Auntie M. But now with a time at 8.26, a slightly hirsute inquiry this morning. Where are you, Keith? It's now, so we're, calling, we're calling this chap Bobby Balladier. He's young, he's hungry for success. And uh, let's have a little, uh, a little soup song burst of him. Can I stick it in the machine? Have you used one of these before? Top, top. Top, 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 top. <laughs> Quick. Actually, actually, we all know... No, no, no. We all know it's going to be played on the tape anyway, so... Can we, can we play the tape in? Listen closely, see what you think. Swing into the cheese! And a flock of yellow birds. That's Dean! That's Dean! That's Dean! I know Dean! Hang on a second. Darkness You've punctured the cunning trick we were going to play on you there, Gabby. But you had a tiny second. Form, form a record company to release this record. That's Dean! Wait, 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 <laughs> Thank you. You saved us. Oh, Somebody oh, saved me. That's it Dean. was, of course. What did you that's think? Dean. Like? I couldn't <laughs> tell because Gabby was screaming like <laughs> somebody had done something horrible. I know, to it's like, like you and Jamila quite, isn't it? We've gone bananas. Thank you. And all the other chat. Oh dear, well in fact it was a brand new release by Gabby's favourite man of all time, <laughs> singer of all time, Dean Friedman. A new release from Dean? It's called Dancing with Dolphins. Oh, I thought Dancing with what? Dolphins. Oh, I thought oh it, Dean Friedman. I thought it was dreadful. Well, you obviously <laughs> love no, it. No, I love I, Dean Friedman. It's a turkey from hell. But <laughs> no. there it is, Dean Friedman, Poor Songs for Grown. Oh, oh, and, <laughs> and Dean also, though, of course, gave us this. You together. can thank your lucky star. I'm delighted. I've said it before and I've said it again. We cover, we cater for all tastes on this show. From <laughs> Dean Friedman to Shed Seven and Jamiroquai. I've got both ends of the musical oh. spectrum here. And so, Richard, <laughs> we, we, we put you out, we put her out of her misery. I thought you were going to say you hated it. Oh, we no, 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 nothing from Dean. Oh, wow, well, it's all going so well with the time at 8.25. <laughs> <laughs> I, I <laughs> landed in seventh heaven because we started the whole Dean Freeman sort All of. Right. <laughs> ah! So I'm just seeing what's in front of me.
but I hadn't seen them already. We started talking about Dean Friedman, and we I really believe that a Dean Friedman revival is ripe and ready to happen. Oh, look, there's now, a pig flying over the house. No, this is what is so extraordinary. Is that's all anybody talks to me about it. in the shops. Oh, Gabby, do you think Dean Friedman's going to play the Albert Hall? It's a, I really don't know oh, about any of that. Outside the Albert Hall, maybe. Yeah. No. <laughs> everybody else, and we get absolute sackfuls of mail, which you know that absolutely true. We get sackfuls of mail from people saying, thank you for bringing the memories of our dancing that night with Dean Freeman's songs and everything. Well, I also got a letter <laughs> from uh, Peaks Hill. <laughs> this is so exciting. Dear Gabby, it's 1B by the way, Dean. It's a pleasant surprise to find out that somewhere thousands of miles away, someone still digs my music. Oh! Oh! This is for real. Anyway, thanks for listening. I hope we get to meet one of these days. Oh, my God! Please drop me a line. All the best, Dean. Oh, do you remember this? You can thank your lucky stars oh. that we're not Dean, Dean, I'll write to you. Of course I will. Now to all the Dean Freeman fans out there and everywhere, and Dean is watching over us and he knows that we care. Keep strong. And keep the faith. Can we just take a look at can we just take a look at Ronnie again? Ronnie, a little imac will clear that up for you. <laughs> Seriously, you know, if, you're, if you're happy like that, that's fine, but just put your head in a bucket of imac and it'll oh, go. Seriously. Dean. But now, in just three minutes' time, Bless we're going to be showing him. you the cool shades that can set you back nearly £300. What the trendy... Friedman time, but I'm just going to read you this little. Avril Brooks from Ashford and Kent. Dear Gabby, what a wonderful idea to start a Dean Friedman revival. Thank you. I thought so too. And now, uh, well, you're bringing back past great legends. What about Shaking Stevens revival? No. no. OK, <laughs> now it's time for Dean Friedman time now every Wednesday we talk about Dean Friedman and I it is getting beyond a joke now because people are stopping me every day asking when the big breakfast are gonna bring Dean over here and he's gonna do the Albert Hall revival with you you never know it could happen because we love Dean and we keep the faith here no everybody does no, we get Gabby, piles Gabby, of letters fantasy islands no longer on television <laughs> stop it now we get loads and loads of letters and um we got a letter last week from Dean Friedman well oh. he actually has gone one better and I know some of you have already seen this, but I haven't seen this. Dean Freeman has sent a video letter to me. Here it is. You can thank your lucky stars that we're not as smart as we'd like to think we are. Hi, Gabby and everyone at Big Breakfast. This is Dean <laughs> Friedman from a home in Peekskill, New York, saying hi to everyone and to thank you for all the nice things that you've been saying and to let you know that it's nice to know that people are still enjoying my music after all this time. And to wish you all a happy holidays and a happy Hanukkah and a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So drive safely and hope to get to see you folks real soon. Take care. Oh, oh bye bye. Dean. Dean. <laughs> yes, come over and see us. That was so cute. Can we just go back on that video clip ever so slightly. Can we bring that up again? Is it Why? possible? It was wonderful. Uh, no, 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 no. He's, he's lovely. But look how interested his wife is in this guy. Stop it. What's Mrs. It? Freeman thinking? Oh, it's another boring oh, no, blonde British no, fan. No. <laughs> that was so cool because he said my name. I know. He said genuine name. squeal of delight the, there. Now, if you're a desperate Dean fan who's been, a, been unable to get hold of his music, you can thank your lucky stars Ooh. because his record company, Chiswick Ace Records, have donated this pile of CDs. We've got they're both um, uh, fantastic tracks, of course. Dean Freeman, well, well said, The Rocking Chair, and Dean Freeman, Rumpled Romeo. And what I'm going to do is I get to choose the first ten out of uh, no first twenty out of the sack and you'll each receive one of these CDs and we'll do an update next week and hey we could just hey, have another no please right, and second prize kids two CDs oh stop it <laughs> let me let me just do this once more did you see Lisa yes I saw Lisa is that why you're angry I wasn't angry maybe a little not even maybe must be the weather now don't be a baby how am I supposed to feel with all the you don't reveal as you can thank your lucky stars that we're not as smart as we like to think we are. Number one. What I want to know is though, how come Dean gets all the attention? Who is that gorgeous voiced woman singing on that with him? Oh, That's to be on the back yes, of the album. I'll let you know. And it is nice that the Friedrich Nietzsche Appreciation Society joined <laughs> us this morning for a Dean Friedman sing-along here in the house. And still to come, more pillow thrills from Hollywood star Danny DeVito at 10 to 9. In fact, Paul is going to tell us what else is coming up on the show. Still to come on The Big Breakfast, not only am I sharing the bed a little bit more with the fantastic...
fantastically talented Danny DeVito. But also, Keith Chegwin will be giving away a holiday to the USA and a good-looking man in his pants. Oh. And yes, control yourself, Danny. In fact, we're going to give away that holiday right now with the time at 8.26. Denise Massa, by the way. Denise Massa at 8.26. Let's ask, where are you, Denise? Now, it's my favourite time of the week. If it's a Wednesday, it must be Dean Day. And it's time for the God of Facial Hair, Dean Freeman. I feel very close to Dean this morning. You can thank your lucky stars that we're not as smart as we'd like to think we are. And you can thank Excuse me, Al. We have to make room for Dean. There we go. Can have room for next week. Now, last week, and this is honestly true what happened. Last week, we talked about Denise Marsa, the mystery <laughs> hang on, girl. Hang on, no, no. Look, can we just see this? Everybody's bowing, but our We're friend in the middle, <laughs> who, like me, is obviously a music critic <laughs> and isn't overly impressed with Mr. Friedman's <laughs> talents there. I'm sorry to interrupt your no, flow, it's Gavin. all right, it's fine. <laughs> Denise Master, the mystery girl who sung with Dean Freeman on You Can Thank Your Lucky Stars. Well, we found out what her name was. Now, um, one minute after the show, Denise Master, you can stop now, thanks very much. You really can stop. Denise Master phoned us here at the Big Breakfast <laughs> from L.A. John, you're laughing. It's true. And hopefully, Denise. Hello. Good morning, Denise. How are you? Good morning, Gabby. Great. How are you? Very well. Now, how come you called us here at the Big Breakfast and you're phoning from L.A.? How did you hear about all of this? A friend of mine, Miranda, called me and said that it was on and you were talking about me and I called to say hello and thank you for mentioning me. Oh, oh it's good to hear from oh, you. Now, yeah, how did you yeah. get involved in singing Lucky Stars in the beginning? Well, basically, Dean had heard me singing um, in New York, and yeah. he, I think he heard me sing once in the studio and once at a club, and he wrote this song, and then he said he thought of me while writing it, yeah. to sing it. So he came over the house, and he played it for me, and he asked me to sing it. And what did, and you, th what did you think of the song? At first? Yes. On honestly? Go on. I, I thought it was corny. It is. <laughs> but it's cute, but it, it actually, over here, over here in the country, actually was number three for ten weeks in the charts over I here. I know, I mean, you guys loved it. I mean, I think it was, it was, it was sweet. I knew it was going to be a hit. I, I had a feeling it was going to be a hit, but... Um, will you I tell me, will you tell me what Dean's like? What Dean's like? Yes, what was he like? He's very sweet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Did he ever ask fan? you... Say again? Did he ever ask you out? <laughs> Oh, you've heard rumors. I've heard rumors. Give me, go on, give me the dish, give me the dirt. Well, yeah, he did. He kind of flirted with me and asked me out, and he was interested, and I, I, was, I had a boyfriend at the time, and so I, I kind of refused him. I rejected yes! him. Yes! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! You can't see from A Alabama. woman of taste and no. discernment. If I had a hat on, I'd take it off to you, my dove. Oh, so really? Are you, you're still singing, though, now, aren't you? Oh, I'm singing and writing, yes. I'm just about to start uh, recording a, a CD, actually. Oh, well, listen, Denise, when you do it, will you send it over to us here and we'll try and play it for you? That'd be wonderful. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thanks Denise, for from L.A. Hey. The woman who said no to oh, Dean Freeman. Please, let me just once more. You can thank your lucky stars that we're not as smart as we'd like to think. Time next week, unfortunately, we'll do it all again. <laughs> She's transfixed and transmogrified by the vision of oh, the mighty Dean stuff. And still to come here on the Big Breakfast, we judge a grudge about two rival sandwich bars. One who offers traditional fare, one who tries to get all jazzy and upmarket. Which one's right? We're going to be deciding very, very soon. But now, with the time at 8.25, he woke up Alf, a.k.a. Raymar, earlier on. But let's find out where he is. Where are you, Keith? Yeah.